Hi, I'm Dan Finkel, and I'm a math educator. Growth mindset is kind of a buzzword of the moment in education, math education in particular. And I hope that this really leads us in a good direction. And I think we just need to be careful because when that, anything that becomes a buzzword or a fad, there's a danger that we just don't treat it with the kind of depth it requires. What's the basic idea? It is that we are not born being good at math or bad at math we actually have the potential to get better by applying ourselves, by learning from our mistakes, by actually engaging in it in a productive way with the right kind of coaching, with the right kind of teaching, and we can learn to be better. We can build our intuition. We can actually learn from our mistakes. This is so powerful and it's just critical in terms of how students move from being wherever they are now, to, to taking the next step. If the message is, I am trying to see whether you are a math person or not in a classroom, students will learn that lesson. Eventually, math is hard for everyone. And the lesson becomes, well, I must not be a math person. And this can happen even if someone has been successful for years and they get to graduate school and suddenly they're challenged in a really genuine way. And if the moral is, well, it was easy before, so that must have, that meant I was a math person, but now it's hard, so that means I'm not a math person. That's just a very dangerous formulation. And the point of growth mindset is to say, let's not formulate it like that. Let's say, hey, this is gonna be hard for everyone at some point, expect it to be hard, expect that challenge to come, and let's actually grapple with challenge and just make that part of our expectation, part of our practice. How you can help is not just in talking about this, not just in saying, you know, when you come up against a challenge and apply yourself, you're actually building your brain like a muscle, but actually do it yourself. And you can do it as a teacher in terms of how you approach mathematical problems. And you say, oh, I don't know how to do this yet, but I'm gonna keep trying. And also how you approach your teaching. Because your teaching is not something that you are born being good at or bad at either. Teaching is something that people have to learn. And there may be people who are more natural, it comes easier in certain respects, but everybody finds it challenging. At some point, everybody's gotta learn. And if you take your teaching seriously and apply that idea of a growth mindset to your teaching, not only will your teaching improve, which is super exciting, but you will communicate to students that this is how you get better at anything. And that's the kind of seriousness we have to attach to growth mindset to prevent it from becoming just another fad, just another buzzword.